Hello, uh, this is a, a demonstration of how to pan a UI in Google Glass as you turn your head. So I have the sample code up and running and you can see the Golden Gate Bridge. Uh, this is what's showing on my glass here. And then as I look to the right or the left, then I can scroll that panorama either right or left along with my head movements. So this is um, a pretty useful technique. You can actually find it uh, quite a few places in Google Glass itself. For example, we could go into the browser. Um, so Street Style has these uh, price drops. And in price drops, you can check an item. And then Browse. And this opens the, the native Google Glass browser. Once you're inside this browser, um, panning like this is used to actually let you look around the website. Because if the whole website was just squeezed into the 640 by 360 resolution display, then it would be too small, right? So instead I can hold my fingers down and I can actually look around the different parts of the website. So the little targeting thing actually lets you pick like buttons and links as well. Which you, you might be able to see flashing as the, the targeting thing goes over there. Uh, the frame rate on the Android screen monitor is pretty low. Um, another place we've seen this sort of technique is in uh, AR apps like my own Through the Walls, but it's also built into Glass in the, the Meet the Team Easter egg. So the Easter egg is accessed through the settings and then device info, then view licenses. And on this view licenses screen, you can then tap uh, a lot of times. And then you get this meet the team pop up. Meet the team similarly gives you uh, a panorama that you can actually look around. In fact, this is probably closer to a, an Android photosphere since it seems a little more three dimensional. Uh, this is an example of how panning can be very useful on a wearable display like this to make better use of your screen real estate. Thanks for checking it out.